Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. It is time for another upcycled fashion. The other night, I made a long stretch skirt to summer cover-up transformation. And in that video, which I will have linked down below, and also on the end screen, I cut the waistband off that skirt, and I told you I was going to save the waistband for a future project. Well, today's the day. I already want to use this waistband. This was part of a skirt that came from Margaret in North Carolina. Hi, Margaret. Thank you. And what I like about it so much is that it's a nice wide waistband. Not too much stretch, so it's not going to be like for a lot of different sizes. But it can go smaller because there's a drawstring. So I'm thinking that the skirt that I create using this... I think it will fit my bigger mannequin, but I plan on modeling it both on the larger mannequin, assuming it fits, and the smaller mannequin, because she feels left out. She's not featured too often. So here's what I'm going to make. I know this is gray, and I didn't have anything gray or partly gray to attach to that, but what I did find is this maternity sweater that I got from Georgiana in Texas. Hi, Georgiana. And I think that this shade of purple, which is, I don't know, violet. I'm terrible with names of colors. I think I can use this to make a skirt. And I think that's going to go really nice with the gray. I really do. And since the waistband is so wide, it will look like a belted skirt. So I'm just going to um, see what I can use for fabric on this. And I plan on saving these sleeves for a future project. So thank you both again, Margaret and Georgiana. I appreciate the clothing you sent, and I'm going to try to do my best to use every piece of the skirt that I got, and I will also try to use every piece of the sweater. So let's just get over to the sewing table and start this transformation. Since this is a maternity top, the front is much longer than the back. So I have two choices. I want to use the original hem as the hem for the skirt so I can match the hem up together and then cut the skirt level at the top or I could leave the longer hem for the back of the skirt and make it a little bit of a high-low skirt. I don't think I'm going to like that option because I don't think it would be long enough to make it look like it's meant to be that way. I think it would just look like maybe somebody made a skirt and didn't cut straight. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to deconstruct this. Now there is some gathering here, but I'm going to cut the yoke off and then I'll cut the back. I don't know. Let's just do something. I would like to keep the original side seams of the shirt as the side seams of the skirt. I'm just going to Cut this off right under the yoke. I'm cutting just the front right now because I want as much length as possible. I changed the settings on the camera because it was making this look awfully blue, at least to me. Now I'm just matching the hems up as much as possible and I'm going to see about where I have to cut. Let me continue cutting these sleeves off. I think the fabric is forgiving enough to let me do it the way I'm planning on doing it. Well, I'm just going to cut across here because I know I need not more than that. We'll put this aside right now for another project. Why don't I put a couple of pins here just so I can act like an actual seamstress. Now, since I want to keep the original seams, Boy, I would like to get this skirt, though, to be a little bit longer. I would have to cut the skirt across here if I want to keep the original side seams, which would make for a short skirt once again. 13 there. I will lose some for a seam allowance, but then I will gain some for the waistband. I don't know. It would be short. I don't really want to add fabric to it. And I can't think of another way. Let me think. Here's what I have decided. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the side seams together myself. I'm going to cut the original side seams. 
and I think I'm going to start from here and just taper down. Do we dare? Do we dare do that? Would I be able to do it the same on this side? I'm going to start on this side because this is going to involve more cutting than this side. Make sure my hem is even. All right, here we go. So I'm just cutting off the side seams and I will be forced to sew. <laughs> now I'm just going to fold it over and do the same on this side. And then I'm going to go ahead and straighten out the top. That will at least give us some more length. And the front and the back are the same length. No more maternity issues. So now I need to put these right sides together and sew the side seams. So I'm going to use a not too wide zigzag. Maybe I should practice on a piece of scrap first and see how it comes out. What I want to avoid is having it be puckery. Knits can be tricky. Well, I guess that's okay. <laughs> so much for practice. You do not want to be stretching your fabric. You know what I mean? It's not like you're sewing an elastic that you want to stretch. Do the same on the other side. These are the things that I hate about sewing with knits. This is puckered. Way too much for my liking. I was going to seam rip the stitches, but since I don't care what size this skirt turns out to be, I'm going to save myself all that time, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the seams on both sides. And I'm going to start over. And here is what I am going to do. I am going to experiment with this iron-on fabric bond. I got this at Marden's for only 88 cents. And it comes in a nice roll, narrow strip, but I'm going to see if I can cut the strip in half because that's going to be too wide for what I want to do. I'm going to measure how much I need. I only need half the width of this because if I use the whole width on there, and put this and sew these together, I'd have to do a very wide seam allowance to hide all the webbing. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that in half. I could have folded it to make it easier. I'm hoping that just that little bit of fusing will stabilize this. Oh, I can bring my little ironing board over here. So I'm going to be putting right sides together. So let me just put this on the edge as much as I can. Going to try to follow the curve. Now I'm going to lay this one down, right sides together. Now I'm just going to press. I've never used this stuff. I've used similar, but not the little strip. Let this cool for a second. All right, it's definitely a little bit more stable. Pretty sure that will allow me to sew a little bit better. And I'm going to go ahead and use a straight stitch, not a zigzag. I think that will be less puckering. I do believe this is going to be better. The webbing doesn't show on the other side. Having a hard time with lighting. The clouds keep making it change. All right, so this definitely looks less puckered and it's going to be about as good as we can get. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. This turned out great. Nice straight side seams. Well, I mean, the skirt itself is curved, but I'm just saying it didn't pucker and all that. So now what I'm going to do is prepare this to go on to this. I'm going to use some of the fusing again to stabilize the waist and to also hold the hem down for me. So I'm just going to use, I guess, the full strip. And I'm just going to fold that over and press. wasn't like
like the absolute easiest thing in the world, but I've never worked with this stuff. I think I could find a way to make it very, very easy if I were to do it a few more times. But now I love that this hem is all stabilized and already held down for me. One thing we need to do is to see if the skirt is the same width as the waistband, and it is not. The skirt is a little bit wider than the waistband, so I'll just be stretching the waistband a little bit as I sew. I'm going to start with a side seam, and I'm just going to be top stitching. I'm going to stay with my lilac or whatever color thread this is because I will be sewing on lilac, and I'm going to try to sew just under this stitching. So this stitch line will show there's like a bump and then I'm going to sew right under there. Or I should say I'm going to try to sew right under there. And I will use a little bit of a zigzag stitch here. I realize I have this under here wrong so that it won't allow me to go all the way around the skirt. So I'm just going to stop there and readjust. That is looking phenomenal. I just remembered that I didn't take a before picture of the maternity shirt. I usually hang it on a hanger on the door. I'm so sad now. But look, this came out so freaking cute. I mean, just look at it. It looks like a sporty little stretchy knit skirt. I absolutely love it. I love the gray waistband. This is kind of like a heathered color and it goes so well with that. Love it. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it inside out and I'm going to trim this excess gray that we have. And I'm actually going to keep this piece of gray in case I want to use it in whatever I do with these sleeves. I would have played with that today and tried to make something to match this skirt, but I think I've done enough for today. I have other things I want to do, so I'm going to just call this upcycled fashion quits. Let's go put this on my mannequins. Plural. I'm going to try both of them. So far, I love this skirt on this mannequin. I mean, how cute is that? She has approximately 32 inch hips. So I did gather the skirt a little bit and I kind of pushed the gathers toward the sides and back more so the front could stay a little bit more flat, but it really didn't gather too much. She's got a pole up her butt that you can see sticking out, but that's how it is in the back. And I have it a little bit lower onto her hips as opposed to her waist. It just reminds me of like a 70s style dress that's just over a tank top. So cute! All right, let's go look at the other mannequin. This looks fantastic on this mannequin too. I folded the tank top under a little bit so you could see the waist of the skirt, but it's just so pretty. Now her hips are about 44 inches. You can see on the side. I just think it is such a cute and sassy little skirt. In the back, you wouldn't really want hips any bigger than 44 if you were going to wear this skirt. And it is shorter on her, so maybe really good for a little beach skirt. I'm all about beach things. If and when I put this on eBay, I will give the measurements of the actual skirt and also of both mannequins. So you can decide for yourself. So that is it for now. I really do like this. That was such a easy transformation to do. Even though I had to make new side seams, I learned new things today. I don't think I have ever worked with a sweatery knit maternity shirt <laughs> and turned it into a skirt. Well, I know I've never done that, but this fabric is a knit. I mean, it's not really sweater. It's, I don't know. It is, well, it is like a sweater knit, but very thin and it's very soft and very nice. But it was so cool to use that fusible tape that I used. That's going to be a favorite of mine. Next time I go to Martin's, I will be stocking up on that stuff. 
So I hope you enjoyed this transformation. Thank you again, Margaret and Georgiana. I appreciate that you sent me those garments. I still have plans for the sleeves of the maternity top, and I will be back with more soon. Bye! And look at what I discovered. It can be worn as a halter top, too. Isn't that cute? I just love it. And here's what that looks like in the back. Now, of course, if I were making this as a halter top, I could have added some straps. We have a little bit of gray knit left. Not sure, though, if I'm going to be doing that. But anyway, it's an idea. You can also wear it as a halter. <gasps> Wait a minute. Now check this out. I just untied the waistband string, and you can tie it up around the back of your neck. The straps are not very long, but I could make a little bow out of it. A very versatile piece of clothing. Gives me ideas for future halter tops. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Upcycled Fashions. You can click the playlist on the top right if you want to watch more. And please click my face to subscribe and help me get to 50,000 subscribers. That is my mission for this year. Thanks!